Hey guys, Phantoms at x 18 here with another video, and today we're going to do another review on the King Kong Skull Island Playmates figure. Now, before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the packaging up close. Now, in this photo, you can see there's an image of the toy, a different toy. I don't know what toy is that. I'm pretty sure it's a variant, uh, which had this head sculpt and, yeah, this scratch mark, I guess. But I don't know. So yeah, it's not a it's not a toy or the C or it's not a photo of the CGI model of Kong. It's this time uh, the toy. So yeah, there is the big logo, Kong, Skull Island. Kong Skull Island was a great film overall. I like it. It was a fun monster movie. Uh, on the side of the box, you get nothing but Kong Skull Island. I like how they have this the island itself in the background. That's actually that's a that's a, ugh, that's a nice touch to the packaging. And same for the other side. It's not Bandai this time, it's Playmates. And on the back, on the frickin' back, you get the frickin' um, bio of Kong. Uh, hang on, let me just move the camera a bit. There you go. Kong! Skull Island. And it shows the um, island in the background. And here we have a nice image or artwork of Kong fighting off one of the skull crawlers. So, yeah. And yeah, barcodes, uh, legendary, monsterverse, whatever. And here we have a, a bio of Kong, uh, Kong, ugh, my tongue is not working right now, of Kong himself. So yeah, read it. So yeah, that's the packaging, now uh, let's throw it away. So yeah, here we have the toy up, here we have the toy itself. Now. I have mixed feelings about the Playmates figures. It's just that they kind of feel so cheap. Very cheap, like, even the Bandai figures that were at stores once, they felt better than these ones. I get it, it's a different company, they're different, and things can change, and stuff like that. So, yeah, but at least let's look at the detail of it, the details of Kong himself. So yeah, sculpting wise, it's good. It's really good. The hair is good. Now let's take a look at the size of him. Uh, hang on, focus. There you go. That's the side. Hair is back. Here's his back. Now let's take a look at the other side. No, don't fall. He was gonna be like Ultra Mother right there. Keeps on falling. She's having a problem standing up. Here she is. And she fell. Here she is. And she fell again. So yeah, scoping wise, detailing, like look at the details he did. Detailing is really good overall. Well, the back here and the front up here is good detailing, but once you get to this side, it, it starts to look a bit cheap right here. The line, there, I feel like that's an is that a gap? I'm not sure. But here, uh, this area, eh, doesn't really bother me because you don't see it from this angle or this angle. So yeah, detailing and sculpting is good. Well, let's take a look at the paint job up close. So yeah, um, I guess they're using black paint for the face or dark gray. I'm not. I'm not really sure to be honest. And they actually did paint the eyes. Hang on. As you can see, the eyes are painted orange with a little black uh, dot for the eye. And here we have. Uh, I think it's dark brownish gray, I don't know, for the chest, and I think they use white paint, uh, yeah, they use gray, lighter gray for the, the chest. And I think in the hand they use um, dark gray hands. 
dark uh, gray for paint for the hands. Uh, for the feet, uh, it's black, I think. Yeah. Oh, even the legs too have that uh, cheap looking feel. See? I mean, this... <sighs> eh, at least it looks... At least the front looks good. The front looks good. The back looks odd. And yeah, sculpting can be mixed. And yeah. So, painting and sculpting on this figure is decent, really good, at least, in my opinion. And for sculpting wise, eh. I have mixed feelings. Some parts look good, some parts look cheap. I mean, it's, it's a different company, so what do you expect? Now, let's take a look at articulation. Um, this has really surprised me because regular Bandai figures usually have a rotation joint at the neck or head, but here, it's kind of a ball joint because look, he can look up, he can look down, look on the side. I mean, look at the look, look how he wiggles. See, he can look up, look down. Well, I think the ball joint is detached. Look at this, he's looking up. Usually with these Bandai figures, um, uh, I can't really compare. I don't have no Godzilla toys around me to compare. Um, usually they just rotate like this, but here they added the ball joint, I think, because he can look up. And look, pretty much, it is a ball joint. That kind of improves the overall articulation of the heads of, of these uh, Bandai figures. And these, this figure is from Playmates, and they actually, yeah, out of the ball joint. That kind of improves Bandai figures. So yeah, uh, 360 on the arms, another 360 on the arm, and hand joints. Uh, no, there's no hand joints. Uh, he does have leg articulation. Uh, hang on, he can move like this to this. Uh, yeah, that's all he can move. Uh, the feet can move 360. But can he move? Nah, no, that's all. That's all you're gonna get. It's just a rotation joint. Well, you can get some decent poses out of this guy. I mean, at least you can. he can look up. He can look down. He can look like up or something like that. I mean, that at least that's an improvement. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, for the leg articulation, same goes for the other leg. So, I'm not gonna go much into, like, you know, more detail into it. So, yeah.
So yeah guys, that was my review of the Playmates uh, Kong Skull Island King Kong figure review. Now, do I recommend this figure? Yes. If you're a King Kong fan or a Monsterverse fan, you should get it. It's, it's a good for your collection and stuff like that. And if you're a King Kong fan in general, um, you should get it as well, yeah. Now, if you're a kaiju fan, uh, depends. If you're into, like, you know, giant gorillas and stuff like that, you can get that as well. And it looks good for your Godzilla figures and stuff like that. And who else? Um, Godzilla and maybe Ultraman and Gamera and yeah. Now, now scoping wise, can bother you because of the sides, the lines, the little cheap feel, and at least you can appreciate the the detailing they did with the hair. Some parts, a lot of parts. And painting wise, it's good. Painting wise, is 100% good. May not be perfect, but it's good. Now, um, at least this figure is like 12 bucks or something like that for 12 dollars. Eh, eh, it feels like a $5 thing, but uh, I guess 12 bucks isn't that big of a huge of a deal. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because they're a bit dried. And leave a comment on down below what you think of this review and this video overall. Even the toy itself. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Eh. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.